Gold-minded records, they're not your friends. What up? It's Clive Craven. I'm back again, this time with a brand new review of a classic Italian film. Um, I'm currently in the middle of watching this trilogy. This is the second one in the trilogy. Um, I enjoyed this film. I don't know if I enjoyed it as much as the first one, but I did enjoy it. Um, I did like the different take um, on the story and how, where they went with it, and that is Inferno. Um, this movie was fun. I, I did like this. I will say that I think that even though there was more action in this one than there was in the first one, I still think I prefer the first one a little bit more. I do like the lighting that it was continued. The style of lighting and filming was continued in this one, just like in Suspiria. Um, I like that we get the backstory and we find out about the three mothers. Um, I think that's a very cool concept. Um, the ending was really tight. I like the ending, uh, you know, how it all came down at the end. So overall, this was pretty good. But a basic plot synopsis of this is um, it basically follows this girl and her brother. Um, it takes place in New York. Obviously, everyone knows the first one took place in Rome. So they're in New York. Um, and, and she's basically in search of these books. She's trying to find these books um, so she can read more about the three mothers. Um, she, she hears about this legend, this so-called story through um, an article in the beginning of one of the books and it sparks her interest from her reading it and uh, from that point on it's basically following her around to see um, you know, what the three mothers are, what, what exactly this whole story is all about. And it, it kind of unfolds near the end. Uh, most of the info unfolds near the end in this. But, um, I mean, it's, it's action-packed, I give it that. It does have a lot of action in it. Um, and there is a good bit of, of um, kill scenes, probably from like the, the midpoint on. Um, it is a little bit of a slow start, I will say that. Um, and, and like I said again, I still do prefer the original Suspiria to this. Um, but it was enjoyable. I, I'd probably overall give this, um, I want to say... Uh, 7 to 7.25 out of 10. Um, very enjoyable, not quite as enjoyable as Suspiria, even though there's more action in this. Overall, a good watch, definitely worth watching. If you're a collector or like Italian films, definitely worth a buy. Um, it is a classic. It is filmed brilliantly, um, and I did enjoy the film. So yeah, Dario Argento's Inferno. Um, and that pretty much wraps up my review on that. I'll be back again with more reviews, updates, overviews, all that shit. I'll probably be checking out the third one in the series soon, Mother of Tears, and doing a review on that. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you guys subscribe. Leave a comment down below in the box. And uh, I'll see you guys around. Thanks for checking it out. Peace.